What is up, bitches? Um, now, before you say anything, um, this battle I had here, well, it was like an awesome match. I mean, it was really, really awesome. And, well, there's me there. Hi there. And um, I could not... I, I was not able to save it in my versus recorder because of the fact that um, um, that Wi-Fi was being gay at the end, and I really wanted to save this battle, so I ended up like saving it as my stream library, and I had to like screen record it. So yeah, let's get this started. This is a um, a fifth gen battle here against M M uh, Laferos the Pixie here. And uh, she leads off with this Agaruda. I know she loves leading with those things that just like do the obvious live gamble crap. But I thought that my Swana would be able to outspeed it and at least get a gale off. But that didn't work out because she is Scarf as well. Which actually like kind of fucked me up a little bit because I just lost my Scarf right off the bat. So, um... I bring Raikou because Raikou has the uh, Vol Change and I am Choice Spec, so um, anything she brings in, I'm pretty sure I can get like a free switch advantage on something. She brings in a Mod Chem, which uh, Vol Change does like half to it, which is pretty awesome. And here I'm debating on what to go into, and I decided to bring in this guy here because he is my physical wall. Um, type of guy here, and um, I know he could take a couple of dynamic punches, so it's not really that big of a deal. But uh, the thing is that he'll be, he'll not like you know take more than you know three because he it's dynamic punches a three hit KO. I'll just say that. Um, anyways, um, I'm now I'm thinking here I could go for a knockoff or I could go for a toxic here but then again you know she could be carrying the obvious lumberry and I really really do not want to waste a move like that just to get rid of a lum I mean that would be kind of pointless in my opinion so I decided to just stay here go for X scissors just to get some damage on that thing uh, oh excuse me and um she brings in Shandera I know that was kind of obvious, but then again, she could have just stayed in and just kept on dying man and punching me in the face, so it really didn't matter. Um, now, I'm going to switch out of here because confusion hacks and stuff, and I really do not want to take a fire move in the face. So I decided to bring my sex rex here, my T-Tar. And she goes for Shadow Ball, predicting my switch. Luckily for me, I do resist both of her stab moves, so it is awesome to bring this guy safely on the stain, so that's pretty nice. Um, now I'm going to predict her switch, so I am going to set up a substitute. And, um, yeah, this is actually a BOA set. Um, Sex Rex is amazing. I mean, yeah, Sex Rex is awesome. So yeah, she brings in my champ, and uh, I do set up a sub on the switch, which is awesome, because now it's just going to get a focus punch in the face, or in this case, it's going to be in the um, the chest uh, area and stuff. So I go for a focus punch. She goes for a deep punch that will break my sub, but I still I will be able to get the focus punch through. So, yeah, now I get to punch it in the gut, and then it dies, so that is awesome. It's a dead machamp now, so I really don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, let's see, what does she bring out now? Oh, yeah, she brings in one of the most... She just brought this thing just to fucking piss me off, and oh my god, yeah, it did piss me off. And you want to hear my reaction from, from seeing this Berloom? Well, here's my reaction from seeing that Berloom. You dirty! Stuck up, sadistic, shit eating, cock sucking, butt fucking, penis smelling, crotch grabbing, ball licking, semen drinking, dog raping, Nazi loving, child touching, cow humping, perverted, spineless, heartless, mindless, dickless, testicle choking, urine gargling, jerk offing, horse face, sheep fondling, toilet kissing, self centered, feces puking, dildo shoving, snot spitting, crap gathering, big nose, monkey slapping, bastard screwing, bean shitting, fart knocking, sack busting, splooge tasting, bear blowing, head swallowing, bitch. Snatching, hair jobbing, donkey caressing, mucus spewing, anal plugging, hole grabbing, uncircumcised, sewer sipping, whoremongering, piss swimming, midget munching, douchebag, hole biting, carnivorous, male loaded, brought that down to your asshole! I don't think I need to repeat myself of how much of 
hatred I have against Brilooms. But anyway, she goes for a spore on my Tyranitar, puts it to sleep, obvious substitute. And here was probably a misplay on my part. I should have brought in my uh, my bug steel thing. Um, but for some reason, I thought X Scissor would not break the sub, and um, that was kind of a misplay on my part because I just wasted a Specs Raikou, which would have definitely helped me out later on in this match. I mean, she has a uh, Karudio on her team, which yeah, definitely would have helped me out because Specs Thunderbolt would have like easily one shot it. But now since I don't have it, I have to like find another way how to get rid of it. So. Bring Lord Spick here because the Almighty Lord Spick is amazing, and um, I predict her switch into Shandira, predicting my obvious close combat. So I decided to set up a sub here, but she just went for a sub of her own, um, and yeah, it actually kind of sucks for me because now I have to like waste uh, life orb damage just to break her sub, and then yada yada yada, etc. 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 It'll just be a waste of term, and you know I'll just have to waste like more HP just to like break the sub, and then just to kill it off. So um, I do break the sub, and that's pretty cool. And she's gonna go for that focus punch, which obviously it will it will break my sub because I have that defense drop, and yeah, she gets a critical hit. Didn't matter because I am behind the sub, and um, I do have the version six patch, which means no freezes on the freaking toxic orb crap. So yeah, hell yeah, more yeah. Hey, I am so mad right now because of this Berloom. Ay yeah yeah yeah. Anyways, um, I just like, you know, I fuck this. I need to kill that piece of shit right now. So, if she does bring Shandera, I really don't care. I have T Tart that still resists that, so I really don't give a fuck. Go for close combat. She does stay. She does stay in, and I do take it out with a nice critical hit. I mean, that Brulum deserve it. So, if you're gonna use a Brulum, then prepare to get critical hit. Yeah. I don't think I need to repeat myself on that statement right there. So yeah, you brain a Brulum, I crit your face. Alright. So yeah, out comes the Shandira again. And um, I know an obvious fire move is coming. Lol, I said come. That's what she said. And I'm just going to brand my Tyranitar here. You know, just to take the uh, a Bursting Flame. Okay, Bursting Flame. Um, which, you know... I resist it, so it's all cool. Now, um, here, I'm just going to stay in as fodder. I don't know why, but... Uh, oh, excuse me again. God damn it. You know, every time I narrate this video, I always get, like, at least two burps on here. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, now she's going to bring her, um, her Karudio, which I was talking about early on. Now, if I would have Raikou, I would have, like, no problem taking the taking this thing out with a Specs Thunderbolt, but since uh, I wasted it on that damn Brilloom's fucking focus punching shit, I am, ooh, I am pretty much in a pickle right now, so, I try to stay in, uh, pretty much I'm just like leaving T-Tar in for Dead Father because there's really like, you know, no point in keeping this thing in, I guess, because as long as she's got this thing alive, I'm not going to be needing T-Tar for quite a while, so, I'm just staying, going to try to get a focus punch up, and um, I do wake up this turn, but she hits me with a boiling water, which actually kind of sucks for me, because it would have been nice to get a focus punch off, but it did not work, so that kind of sucks for me, and yeah, now I'm just going to stay in here as father, and hopefully I, you know, I do have a plan here, but it's going to need some processes of thinking this through and hopefully I will you know not screw it up because you know one false move can actually like cost me the game uh, she goes boiling water that will take me out of course and now I just have to hope that my plan does work so my plan here is very very simple but let's hope it works shall we I bring my Holy Knight, alright, my Bug and Steel guy thingy, alright, and I decided to go for the Toxic here, now, I could have brought Dory Yuzu just get some damage in, but I'm not sure if a Earthquake from a Dory Yuzu will take it out in one hit, 
So I decided to bring in this guy here just to get the toxic off, and that way I can like you know wear it down where my door user can easily take it out with an earthquake. So I go for toxic. Uh, her uh, mystery of sword or sword of mystery does not take me out, which is awesome because now I get a toxic off. And here I'm just going to protect here. Just to stall it out, um, just to rack up some more uh, toxic damage and some more sandstorm damage as well. Um, I am trying to, I'm not stalling here, but you know, I really have nothing else for this thing. I have Doryuzu, but again, I already told you that I'm not sure that a earthquake will take it out. So basically, this is just part of my plan. I just need to bring this down low enough where I can actually take it out in one hit. So. Um, here, I don't know why I did this, but I decided to, um, death father my lord speak here, uh, for some strange reason. I guess I, I don't know, for some reason, I thought I would bring Holy Knight, just to, like, um, rack up some more toxic damage, but, um, but after that, seeing the toxic damage now, I thought, you know, I don't need to bring him in anymore, and... You know, things are working pretty good, so... At this point, I thought the only Pokemon she had left was this thing and her Shandira, and I thought I won this game in the bag, so... I bring my Doryuzu, which is holding a balloon, so yeah, we just got that from the, from the fair, it was awesome. Me and Doryuzu, oh my god, we had a blast. Anyways, good go for Earthquake, and you know, see how much HP is at left. I'm pretty sure Earthquake will take it out because um, Karudio's uh, physical defense aren't that great. So I will take it out and she goes into her Shandira, which will get raped by an Earthquake because of my ability Sand Throw. And uh, with that, my speed is double in the sand, so I'm able to outspeed it, take it out with Earthquake, and that thing is now dead. Now here, she had a gentle sect, and I was like, wait. I thought I killed all your pokes. And I'm like, oh, oh, fuck. Because I know these things can carry flamethrower. And if she kills me with this Genosexist flamethrower, I know that I'm pretty much fucked. I mean, seriously, I'm fucked. But um, you'll see why this match was like, you know, the, you know, a very, 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 very fun match I had. Oh, my God, I've. I feel like I shivered on that one for some reason, but I don't know. She was thinking for quite a, quite a while. I guess yeah, she didn't know that she had flamethrower on it. But then I told her, and then now she did notice. So I was like, oh, me and my big fucking mouth. Yep. So, uh, she goes for the flamethrower. Anytime now. Anytime now. Anytime now. Oh, yeah. I go for Earthquake. I do not take it out. She goes for flamethrower, and it's going down and down. And I live. Yes, I live. I live with like 64 HP. And oh my god, if that flamethrower would have killed me, I would have definitely lost the game. But um, yeah, that must have been minimum damage. That has to be minimum damage because door users are fucking frail as fuck. But. Thanks to that, I'm able to win the game. Oh my god, that was a great game. Frosty Pixie, please go check her out. And there's the DC screen. So that's why I could not save it in my reverses recorder. But please go make sure to go check her out. Links will be in the description. And uh, don't forget to like this video if you actually like this battle. Don't forget to comment on this video if you actually you know, want to say anything, I do love reading your comments. Don't forget to favorite it if you actually do enjoy watching this battle over and over and over again. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, bitches.